Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we're going to see how to pause a game in Unity. Now there are two ways to pause a game. One is using the Unity's inbuilt time.timescale function. The other is using a static boolean. We'll be seeing both the methods and we'll discuss in the end what is the right way to pause the game. So we have a scene here. The cube in the scene is, will basically rotate and move towards the right. So when I play the game, you can see that the cube is rotating on its own axis and moving forward in the positive x direction. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a menu that will be displayed when the game is paused and we are going to have a button so for pausing the game and a button to resume the game and we'll use Unity is time dot time scale first and we'll see what is getting paused and what is not getting paused. Then we'll be using a static boolean also to see how the game gets paused. So let's go ahead. First, let's create the menu. So Unity has something called as a panel. So these are basically made for pause menus. So you can just go ahead and create a panel. It's semi-transparent. And let's have it here. So this is how it's going to look in the game. So let's make it a little bit red. Okay. Now I'm going to add a button to it, UI button. And I'm going to call this button as resume. Okay. The text inside the button will also be resume. Sorry, resume. Okay. And then I'm going to add another button, which will be my pause button. So text pause. Now the pause button is not inside the panel, so I'm going to move it somewhere here. When you click on the pause button, the panel will appear and you click on the resume button, the panel will disappear and when the pause is pressed, the game should pause and when we click on resume, the game should basically unpause. So since we have only a single script in the scene, so we're going to use the same script for all the operations. So let's go ahead to the cube script and see what is happening. So basically in the update, we are rotating the cube and in the fixed update, we are moving the cube. So now to pause it, first we are going to need a public game object. So this will be our panel. Our panel. Okay. Then we are going to need two functions, which will be public void void pause so inside the pause i'm going to set time or time scale to zero and i'm going to say panel by set active group and then i'm going to have another public function it will be resume. So inside the resume function, I'm going to say time dot time scale is equal to one. And I'm going to say panel dot set active pause. So, okay. So let's go back to Unity. Now let's assign the public functions to our buttons. So let's click on the on click event. It's going to be the cube and rotate and resume. Now the pause, on click and here goes the cube. Rotate, pause. Okay. So now my buttons are assigned. So let's, before starting the game, Let's set the panel to be inactive and 
in the cube we'll have the public game object so we'll have to assign the panel okay so let's play the game so my cube is rotating and moving towards the right direction so if i click on pause you can see that the panel has appeared but the cube's rotation has not stopped but the cube is not moving towards right the reason is when time dot time scale is set to zero unity pauses everything related to physics and time but update is basically frame related and since the frame of frame is all is rendering continuously yeah the update is still called so the update function is not paused when time dot time scale is set to zero so if i set this rotation also inside my fixed update and then go back to unity and if i play my game now the cube is rotating slowly because fixed update is called less number of frames compared to update so let's pause the game so now you can see both the rotation and the motion is paused so if you're going to use time dot time scale make sure all your code is inside fixed update or something related to physics or time if not it is not going to work if you have made a game that is not physics related and all your code is inside update so you can use a static boolean now static variable is something that has only a single instance no matter from where it is referenced it will refer to that single instance so if you set the value of the static boolean in one place if and if you refer it from the, some other place it will return the same value so to create a static boolean we are going to make it public so that we'll be able to set the value from wherever we want and it will be static and type is boolean we're going to say again false okay now inside my that function that I'm going to say game post is equal to false and instead of setting time dot time scale to zero I'm going to say game post equals true and here i'm going to say game post equal to false and i'm going to move the whole code to the update function and the whole code will be inside a if statement which says not game post okay. okay so if the game is not post then do this otherwise don't do that so now let's save the script go back to unity Now all my code is inside update let's play the game so if i click on pause everything pauses so you can use a boolean or time dot time scale to pause the game depending on where your code is and now coming to the point like which is the right way to pause the game the answer is using both because most of the games have physics and non-physics component if you're setting time dot time scale to zero and all the physics and time related things are paused and places where you feel that it is not physics related and you know it is in running inside the update you can use a static boolean and pause all your codes inside update uh, there's one more thing the ui basically doesn't pause so if you're having functions that are ui related then you can use the static boolean to pause that also also all the animations are paused when time dot time scale is set to zero so if you're having some animation in your pause menu that is not going to work to make an animation work when the game is paused all that you have to do is let's 
see if I have an animation controller here. I guess I don't have an animation controller, so I'm going to add an animator. Oops, not animation. Remove component. I'm going to add animator. So in the animator, the update mode should be set to unscaled time. So if the update mode is set to unscaled time, the animation will not pause even when time dot time scale is set to zero. So keeping all these things in mind, you have to effectively code and set the parameters so that your game is paused properly. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.